Good afternoon. My name is Jeff and I'm the Tropical Garden Guy. Today I wanted to talk about a little experiment that I'm going to be doing on growing coconuts, the tropical coconut, in an untropical climate. But first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and questions. So let's take a look at this little experiment I got going on regarding coconuts in California. You guys hear me use the word tropical quite a bit on this channel. And I think it's about time I, I define what I feel is tropical. And there is a scientific definition of tropical. But for me, I use it interchangeably with plants that originated in tropical areas such as you know Hawaii or Southern Asia or places such as that but truly the only places in the United States that are tropical would be the very far southern tip of Florida or uh, Hawaii. California is really not tropical it's a Mediterranean climate um, but some folks have used the term subtropical, that is just below tropical. But the definitions that keep popping up when it comes to tropical is that the mean temperature of the coldest month is 64 degrees. Now, <laughs> here in Modesto, my mean temperature in the middle of the winter is closer to 48 degrees, which is very chilly. So we're definitely not tropical, but I can grow some tropical fruit trees here uh, and palms too. I have tried growing coconuts before in various methods and really they're a, a, an outdoors during the summer type thing. And then I put them into the uh, house during the winter time for a house plant. But I wanted to do an experiment with coconuts. Um, I wanted to do, see where the extreme minimum that they can deal with as far as cold weather and then die. Uh, I know it sounds kind of sad, but I have an abundance of houseplants that are coconut, growing co coconut from the, from the seed. And I have a few extra and I figured, hey, it kind of would give you guys an idea of what the extreme situation could be. And who knows, we'll see how long uh, my coconut tree that I plant, planted, um, how long it'll actually last in our cold winter weather. So let's take a quick look at uh, a coconut that I have already started growing in, the, uh, in, in a bucket of water that I got from Hawaii a couple months ago. I had uh, let it dry out and then I put it in water and I let it wait till it sprouts. Now, in my front yard, I found the absolute warmest part of my my front yard and the soil temperature stays very close to a magic number that most folks that have tried growing coconuts know to be the bare minimum soil temperature for coconuts for example uh, I tested the uh, soil temperature of the famous Newport Beach coconut when it was alive and the temperature was on a chilly day the temperature was right around 59 degrees and I suspect that 58 59 is about the lowest that coconut trees can handle before they get start getting root rot and die but uh, yeah coconuts are tropical and uh, we're gonna just see how tropical they are in my Modesto tropical garden so here we got a, a coconut that what, that I bought in Hawaii that was on the street and I dried it out and now I'm soaking it in water and you can only do this during the summertime or indoors. Eventually a sprout will come out right there and the tree will start growing. And let's run real quick to the front yard and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, those are <laughs> lychees. Those are another subtropical fruit tree. So here we are in the warmest spot in my entire garden. This is the south side of my garage and it is extremely warm. Uh, the temperatures, the air temperatures here, because it's trapped in the corner, 
The air temperature regularly hits 120 degrees, even on a day that is only 100 degrees outside. But what makes it an ideal spot when you want the soil to warm up is that it's a combination of the house on three sides. I have my walkway right here, which absorbs heat during the during the uh, hottest part of the day and then slowly gives it off during the night. The house, not so much. But as you can see, there's ju it's just a plant planter box there that uh, for right now, I just have my hibiscus and my plumeria. And another thing is that it has a rain gutter over the top. So that kind of adds a little bit of, slows the heat loss during the, the nighttime. I also have a uh, pineapple plant that I planted there last fall and it's doing just fine but so here's the coconut now this guy was as i showed you in the bucket just a year ago and i did overwinter it in the in my den and then i decided oh about a month ago i planted it in this spot now as you can see here's the here's the husk the wooden part and it grows the plant grows right out of the center uh, when i planted it here this I think it was this leaf right here was just coming out. So since I planted it a month ago, this is a new leaf growing. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna say, Jeff, why are you being so crazy with this? If that grows a palm tree, you're gonna damage your house, you're gonna damage your sidewalk. Well, this is an experiment in how much cold a coconut tree can take and before it dies. So it, in my opinion, it's probably gonna die. It'd be interesting if it made it through the winter, but we're gonna document this thing as we go through the winter and I'll let you know how it's doing. If you like this type of channel, if you like growing marginal trees, uh, tropical trees in marginal climates, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. You have a wonderful day.